Welcome to the EAST 101 Proof of Concept demonstration for the EOTS, the EAST 101 Operator Training Solution. What you're looking at now is the underlying HISIS simulation that drives the EOTS. It features two risers which will exhibit slugging behavior, the inlet separator which will receive the slugs, and slug control valves on each riser which the operator may use to reduce the severity of slugging. This is the OPC server that connects the HiSI simulation to the HMI, the Human Machine Interface. Here, the real-time factor has been set to 8. This means that the simulation will run faster than real-time. This is done so that we may observe the slugging event within a reasonable time frame. Otherwise, if the real-time factor was set to 1, we would have to wait several hours. This is the HMI. This is what the end user of the EOTS would see. Here, only the important elements of the simulation are shown, namely the indicators for pressure, for level, and so on, the valves, and the inlet separator. For this run, we will not be changing the opening percentage of the slug control valves, shown here. They will remain at 100% open so that we may observe the maximum impact of the severe slugging event. We will be monitoring the changes in pressure and oil level via strip charts. High and low alarms are indicated by orange lines, while high high and low low alarms are indicated by red lines. An alarm has been activated by the pressure indicators on the risers. From the strip charts, we can see that it is a low alarm. Low pressure is an indicator that the gas lift has been lost, and we are now expecting to see severe slugging. Note that in reality, some time may pass before the severe slugging actually happens. But since we are running faster than real time, we only have to wait a few minutes. Notice how the pressure is rising rapidly now. This indicates a high flow of fluids in the riser. This is the slug we have been waiting for. Will it lead to more alarms? Yes, it does. The pressure reaches PAH. For now, let's just observe it. Maybe it will go away. It seems that the pressure is staying above PAH. In this case, the riser is rated for pressures above 100 bar, so that is not a concern. However, because high pressure implies high flow rates, the separator may be in danger of overflowing. Let's check the strip chart. As you can see, the level also increased rapidly with the pressure, and it's approaching LAH. It has reached LAH and seems to still be rising. If the level reaches LAHH, the facility will trip. Let's see if it does. Alright, that's LAHH. We assume at this point that the LAHH trips the plant, shutting down operations. Game over. Let's stop the simulation. Ideally, the user will learn, firstly, that low pressure alarms at the riser indicate a loss of gas lift, which will be followed by severe slugging. If no action is taken, the oil level in the separator will increase until LAHH trip occurs, which is a bad thing. In our next run, we will show the impact of closing the slug control valves on the separator level.